problem stats, problem stats, problem stats. I wonder how many tries it would take to get two sixes. No. No. One more try. Five and a four. For what? What are you doing? I'm trying to roll two sixes. Try. Just a four and a two. Let me try. Sixes. Exactly. Well, let's look. But dice has a one, mm -hmm. a two, a three, a four, a five, and a six. Correct. So it has six sides, and if you roll it one time, so there's a one, one in six, six chance, chance that you'll get a six. Yes. So, if you were to roll both die, well, Going on that theory, of course, and making it a bit of my own, of there are two dots. So right. there's six sides on one, six sides on another. You roll one, that's one out of six chance that you yes. roll a six, and you roll the other, that's another one out of six chance that you roll a six. So it makes sense to multiply them. One six times one six is? Thirty-six. Exactly. That's genius. One thirty-six. Right, so there's a 1 in 36 chance that you'll roll two sixes. Exactly. Hi, Joe, I think we've got it! Yes, you do! Ha <laughs> ha! We've applied our previous theory of probability to a basic gambling game where the objective is to roll two die that equal seven. There are six possible ways to achieve this combination. A six and a one, a one and a six, a five and a two, a 2 and a 5, a 3 and a 4, and a 4 and a 3. So if there are 6 ways to get the sum of 7, that's 6 out of 36, or 1 sixth. Normal distribution. Hi, I'm Carl Friedrich Goss, and I was an astronomer in the 18th century. I created normal distribution. Normal distribution has five properties. One, the mean, median, and mode are all equal. Two, it has a normal bell curve shape. Total area under the curve is equal to one. Four, the curve gets close to the x-axis and extends forever but never touches the x-axis. Five, there are points on the curve, directly here and here, they are called influential points. Influential points are when the curve switches from increasing to decreasing. Between exactly negative 2 and negative 1, and positive 2 and positive 1, there is 13.59% of the standard deviation. One point nine six, which is around here, would be exactly ninety five percent. Between negative three and negative two, and positive two and positive three, lies exactly two point fourteen percent. This totals up to ninety nine point seven two percent of all observations in normal distribution. Using prior knowledge from famous statisticians such as Pascal and Fermat, I created standard deviation, which has further aided me in my study of astronomy. Analysis of variance. Hello, my name is Ronald Fisher, and I studied biology and natural selection in the 20th century. Natural selection is the process by which plants and animals adapt to change in their environment to survive and reproduce. I 
created ANOVA, or Analysis of Variance. Using it specifically to compare samples. 